It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Thursday, the 23rd of January. I'm Michael Groff. A very tranquil weather pattern with a warming trend setting in through the weekend and for next week as well. Conditions will remain fairly dry as systems pass mainly north of Arizona. We'll get into it first. The Almanac from yesterday, 64 degrees was the high in the valley, 51 the low that occurred just before midnight. And outside now here at 745 a.m., mostly sunny skies out there, 48 degrees at Sky Harbor, dew points at 45. Humidity 87%. The winds are calm and the barometer is steady. Temperatures out there this morning. It's in the 30s at Goldfield, but most of us are in the 40s to near 50. The upper air look shows the trough that brought our unsettled weather in here early in the week is now out over the Plain States and it continues to progress to the east. Meanwhile, high pressure is building in here across the southwest and that's going to lead to drier conditions. Here's the watch warning map. We've got a dense fog advisory in parts of southeast Arizona this morning. Some winter weather conditions across the Plain states, but overall a fairly quiet weather pattern for most of the nation. And on the convective outlook, we see that as well. Some thunder possible along the Gulf Coast and in parts of the Pacific Northwest, but no severe weather. And precipitation for the next seven days. Forget it. Nothing here in the valley. Basically nothing statewide. This tranquil pattern will roll on and we'll detail why that is now as we take a look at the models. Here we go to the GFS, the 06Z run at 2 o'clock this afternoon. A ridge building in here across the southwest, a dry northwesterly flow. So down at the surface, sunny skies, high temperatures pretty close to 70 today. Tonight, clear, lows in the 40s. Tomorrow, mostly sunny skies, highs in the low 70s. The weekend looking pretty good too. A few high clouds, otherwise mostly sunny for both Saturday and Sunday. High temperatures in the low and middle 70s. On Monday, we do have a little short wave that's going to move on through, but this thing has absolutely no moisture with it whatsoever. There may be a few high clouds, but it doesn't even look like we'll see any rain statewide or mountain snow. So nothing to worry about there. Temperatures will fall back a couple of degrees, highs closer to 70. Same thing on Tuesday, highs around 70 or so, mostly sunny skies. On Wednesday, another system passes through the Great Basin. This one might be a little bit more potent, but it's moving over land, so it's not picking up much in the way of Pacific moisture. It may ring out some widely scattered rain and snow showers for northern and eastern Arizona, but here in the valley, we'll just see partly sunny skies, high temperatures back in the mid and upper 60s. Then a week from today, this is Thursday the 30th. We've got a ridge to the west, trough off to the south and east, and a dry northwesterly flow in here again. Temperatures would be warming up. And going out 10 days, this is the end of the forecast period, Saturday the 1st of February, and that still looks dry with temperatures likely above average. Why is it that we're seeing this tranquil weather pattern? When we talked about this yesterday, I'll show you again, though. This, these are the teleconnections coming off of the European Ensemble. First, the Arctic Oscillation remains positive all the way out through the next 10 to 15 days. The Eastern Pacific Oscillation remaining positive as well. In fact, highly positive. The Ensemble mean is the green line there. And the Western Pacific Oscillation is neutral or positive. And that means that the Arctic air is going to remain over the higher latitudes. The overall long wave weather pattern across much of the Northern Hemisphere will remain de-amplified or a more progressive pattern. And that tends to favor weaker systems. We won't see the major uh, winter storms, especially out here across the Western United States, specifically the Southwest, anytime soon. So any systems that come through will be more like the one that came through here on Monday and Tuesday, as opposed to stronger systems. And that's going to remain the case until we start to see these teleconnections uh, going a little bit more negative. All right, checking out the temperatures off the GFS ensemble through the period. And for the most part, we'll remain at or above seasonal averages all the way out through early February in line with those teleconnections. And no major signs of any significant precipitation anytime soon. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. And if you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and click that notification bell so that whenever we post a brand new one, you'll be alerted to that. Your comments, questions, and suggestions always encouraged as well. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe out there. And you guys have yourselves a great Thursday.